Okay, back. I removed the fan from the computer because it was making too much noise. As you can see, I tore it up a little bit using a screw to hold the fan in. But I have other consoles, I think. Anyways, so this is going to be a demo of call vget. That's under the call clear. It's going to be at row column, row and column of uh, row 12, column 16, four characters off the screen, index dollar sign. So it's a little bit like get character, but you can get a whole string of characters instead. Also, it's written in assembly. V put, V character, and V get are all in assembly. Matter of fact, RxB's call clear is assembly. All these are assembly. They are no longer just GPL commands. So they are considerably faster. And this is a console here. Remember that. So anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what this does. It's going to get uh, the V kit does what it does. The V put's going to put it at column 22. V character is a little bit different. I set it up so it does uh, at row 12, column 16, an integer of RAND times 96. And I add 30 because I want to use characters 30 to 126 onto the screen. I had it set up for 255, but it crashed when it hit zero because that's an illegal character for call vget in a string. Zero's a zero. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, uh, let's run the program and show you what it does. As you can see, because it's assembly, it's extremely fast on a console. So I have assembly on a console and it's pretty dang fast. It, it puts the characters on the screen randomly and then it picks them up and puts them over there. So there's two commands that do this. Vget and the, um, let me see if I can stop this and list it. The Vget gets the characters and the V put puts it on the screen in a different place. That's where the H's are over there, if you see up above. And that is extremely fast. So let's go to the next demo. Okay, next demo, same thing. So we have uh, just a console and we're gonna go with scroll up, scroll left, scroll down and scroll right. Uh, so these commands here, I miss a command here, up, down, left, right. Yeah, they're all there, okay. So anyways, it's gonna be, uh, how, it's, how it goes is I'm gonna randomize a number. And the uh, first thing it's gonna say is the, the row or the column. Now see, if scroll up is gonna be by row because it's going up or down. So there's 24 rows up and down. So it's gonna be integer of a random number of 24, one to 24, and then it's gonna do a scroll up onto the screen. It's gonna put scroll up on the screen, but it's gonna do it in a, in a vertical position because it's from top to down. And then it's gonna be at a tab area. Now the tab is from top to bottom. So there's gonna be up to 24 in the tab. So it's like tab, but instead of going across left to right, this tab goes up and down also. Uh, so scroll left does the same thing, but of course it scrolls left and right. So the random numbers are gonna be from one to 32 column wise. And it's gonna scroll left. And it's gonna be an integer of the tab of, you know, up to 24. So anyways, let me just do the run, the, do the demo. This is in uh, console, remember that, but it's written in assembly. So if you can see the entire screen here, I'll get it all in there. You can see it's pretty fast. That's on a console. And I did this for a demo for, uh, you know, to show what RxB along with just a console can do. That was the whole idea. But this is assembly on a console. So anyways, that's the demo of this one. Okay, we're back. Same console, everything's the same as you would for. This is gonna be a, a demo. Now I did scroll, and scroll is the same thing as like a print, but it goes in all four directions, uh, up, down, left, right. Now roll is a different thing. Now this roll demo uses a roll to roll the screen from left to right or up to down, and what it does is it uh, is a is a component here, like call roll up. It goes int ran times twenty four, so you can roll up twenty four lines because that's how tall the screen is. Now you can roll left or right, and that's thirty two left or right. So, anyways, let's do a demo here and show you. Now, again, this is assembly, so here you go. Pretty 
pretty fast for uh, a console only. And it's assembly. So anyways, that's this demo. We'll go to the next okay, one. Okay, we're back. Same console. Um, this is a routine I have here called Execute. And what does it do? Well, I already have a, a program called Execute, but I, EXE is different. The Execute does a branch link workspace pointer to an area you want for a workspace to do a branch link workspace pointer and return. So you have to return with workspace pointer. Uh, that's a cool routine, but you have to have a memory expansion to make it work. This works differently. It doesn't execute of any address in assembly as long as there's a return at the end of it. Now, at this address in ROMs on extended basic, any extended basic will work, but you have to have this command to make it work, is uh, the scroll routine. So when you hit this, it scrolls the screen. It's the same exact thing as this. It's the same routine. I'm just executing it from uh, assembly. It's going to use the print routine. What's the advantage? Well, you can put a comma behind it. And it's a little bit faster than the regular print because each one of the times it goes back, skip the comma, it, instead of having to do like a print, which is going to be, you know, if you do a print, you have to put a colon colon to the end of it, right? Like you put a colon here to do the next one. And that's going to be a problem because it has to find the token for the colon and then go to the next one. Well, it does it assembly, but it does the same thing with execute. The only difference is it's a comma. It never left the GPL, though. This has to re-enter the program because it has to go find print again to do it again. And execute doesn't have to do that. So it's a little bit faster than print. I mean, if you do a 10,000 loop, you can see the difference. It's a little faster because it goes directly to the address and then returns. That's all it does. And print has to go find the command. So it's a little faster. I wouldn't suggest using it, but, you know, it's an option that I put into XP, RxB. Okay, back. Same old, same old computer. Uh, so what we got here is a thing called a call clear print. Now, call horizontal character in RxB is assembly. And call clear print, because I made the scroll up and scroll down and scroll right, scroll left, uh, I want to be able to clear the screen where the print is or the display at. Those both, uh, anyways, let me run this and I'll show you. As you can see, it clears the characters where the print would be. And it leaves the characters in the edges. Like, if you ever do a, uh, a call clear, What you'll notice is it clears the entire screen. Clear print only, only clears Oops. <laughs> I need to back up here. C-L-E-A-R Well, I'm making a mess of this anyway. Hard to do this holding the phone at the same time. Call clear print. See, it leaves the. Uh, it only. It doesn't affect the stuff. The the, the two uh, where the uh, carrot is over there. See it, or the uh, larger than sign. Those two characters in that edge and the two on the other end will be left alone for clear print. But it is assembly. So I just wanted to uh, just okay. demonstrate that. So I'm back. This will be the last one. I have an assembly routine here called call alpha lock. And what it does is it basically checks the alpha lock key on your computer, whether it's down or up. So let's run it. All it's doing is it's checking. <laughs> a little bit of a joke. 269294 is actually um, kind of a private joke. If you look that number up to see what it is, and hex, you'll be laughing. Anyways, so anyways, what it's doing right now is the alpha lock is down. So if I press the alpha lock, it's a zero. If I press it again, it'll tell you that. So anyways, let's do a function four and print. Whoops. I have another routine here I have to type in. 
So it's going to be, hang on, i got to put the phone down, dang it. Okay, there, there's the private joke. Um, two six minus two six nine two four. If you turn it into hex, it will be nine nine four a. I thought it was kind of cute to do. So, anyways, that's the end of the demos. In assembly on the console.